Installing new electrical outlets, do it yourself friendly, let's get to it. In this video, I'm gonna show you four totally different ways to install a brand new outlet. Each one has its pros and cons. You only need a few basic tools. That would be your new outlet, a screwdriver, a cheap $10 outlet tester is all you need. You can upgrade later to more fancy equipment. Four totally different ways to install outlets. I think number four will surprise you. You may never have seen that one before, but let's start with the most common and the oldest method. Okay, if you look carefully, the wire is going around a screw. Now, if you're doing this screw method, you may be a hundred year old man. This is very old. A lot of intimidation factor here. Do it yourselfers often struggle with getting the hook on the wire correctly. So with your new outlet, if you don't get the shape of that wire hook correctly, it either will be too loose or it will be too long and not go all the way around. As you're making the hook shape, another mistake is that people, do-it-yourselfers, beginners, will install it this orientation. That's a mistake. There, when you try to tighten the screw, it literally will push the wire out of the opening. You always want to install it clockwise. When you install it clockwise, as you tighten down the screw, it will literally pull the wire in for a nice secure connection. Also, another drawback of this method is you only have two connections for each side. That's the black and that's the neutral, the hot and the neutral. So often in these outlet installations, you're gonna have multiple sets of wires as it's carrying electrical current to other outlets in the same room or in an adjacent room. That's a drawback. The next outlets are gonna be a better design. You never wanna have a situation where you're putting two or more wires on one screw. That is dangerous. Okay, on to option number two for installing a new outlet. If you find loose outlets in the bargain bin, if they're a dollar or less, they're pretty cheap connections. The plastic is actually substandard, very light. A quick down and dirty tip that does work at the home improvement stores. If you're buying a new outlet and it's loose, it's usually pretty low quality. If it comes in a box, it's actually higher quality and it only costs a little bit more for much better connections. Look at this, with method number two, we did not use the side screws at all. That's for old grouchy men. Here we use the backstabbing method. What is backstabbing? I know, that's a horrible name. Here they literally took a wire connection and stabbed it right into the hole. Can you see those holes? Okay, so here you're literally gonna find the hole. Now, one drawback is it's only rated for 14 gauge wire, which is the thinner wire. If your house has the thicker 12 gauge wire, that might be a problem. You're gonna select the hole on the hot or neutral side and you literally just stick it straight in. It is a pretty firm connection. It's really quick and easy. Some of the drawbacks, I'll have the editor show you on the screen. There have been some overheated situations, some house fires. I've even seen in the real world where you have a dead outlet and we look back here and the wire has broken right off. Now this is still a UL rated outlet, so they still call this an approved method for connections. Okay, now we're progressing all the way to method number three. Now we're up to this Leviton higher quality outlet. It's only a little bit more than the L cheapos. Now look what we have here. At first you're gonna say, Larry, we're back to the screw method. Well, no, we're not. What is going on here? Let's look a little bit closer. Here's a new one of this outlet so I can demonstrate. In the closed position, that metal clamp will fasten on down. And when it's open, you have a hole there. And look, this is what you wanted. You have one opening, two openings, three, four. You have four openings per side, four black wires, four neutral white wires. That will make your life so much easier as you have downstream outlets to connect. By the way, if your old house wiring has that hook on it and you need a straight connection for these new fancy outlets, you can get a pair of pliers and try to straighten that out. Or also in a lot of cases, they'll just clip that right off and strip the wire back and you got a nice straight connection. Now with a nice straight connection, make sure your clamp is open and we're gonna literally just slot it right in. Doesn't matter if it goes on the top or bottom. Now the strip gauge is, you want it to bottom out. You want it to go to that stop. That's how you know you removed enough of that wire sheathing. <laughs> Tighten it right up and it clamped down. This is my preferred method. This is the best solid connection. It's best for the beginner and the do-it-yourselfer or the pro alike. It will last for years and decades to come. It will not loosen up over time. Option number three is the way to go. It is a secure connection and you will like working with it. It's super easy. But what about that promise number four surprise? Have you ever seen this one before? Leviton Decora Edge. Leviton is a very well-respected name when it comes to outlets and receptacles. You can call them either one. 
The code calls them receptacles. This is what it looks like. It comes with a wide attachment point, no matter what size box you're working with. You will use that rectangle shape decora cover plate. But what are these levers on the side? Look at these color coded spring loaded levers. Okay, so the black is where your hot wires are going to go, and the white is where your neutral wires are going to go. They're going to go right into these, right into these holes, these slots. You'll lift the tab, and the green is going to be for the ground if you have one in your house. I'm telling you, here they've thought of everything, even down to the direction that these levers open. If they were to open in the backwards configuration, when you slide the outlet in, the wires might tend to pull on that and open it back up and loosen it up. So here they have it open from the front where nothing will obstruct it as you're pushing it back in. Another reason why these are great for the beginner do yourself is because if you do make a mistake and have to wire differently, you can just open that lever and remove the wire. So again, open the lever, insert the wire all the way in, release, spring load it, it will catch on tight, black, white, brown. This is the way to go for quick and easy installations. So you have no intimidation factor. Super easy to work with here. Let me switch this one out. If you open them all the way up, you can actually have them stop in the open position. So now you can work with both hands free. Okay, let's install the new one. Now it's literally just color matching, black to black, all the way down, snap it in. White, all the way down, snap it in. And uh, modern houses, of course, do have ground wires. Pre-1963 houses do not snap it in. These extra wide tabs can be removed if you so desire, depending on the size of your outlet box and your cover plates. Now install your cover plate and you're good to go. Installing new outlets is simple. You can definitely do it yourself without calling electricians. Stay away from the 50 cent bargain basement outlets. They cause nothing but problems. The ones that come in a box that cost $2, maybe $3, those are super high quality fasteners and the connectors are much better built if you actually weigh them they're, they're heavy duty outlets and then you have the easy snap lock connections for no intimidation factor whatsoever you don't need any tools other than a screwdriver you got this i knew you could do it yourself